<laughs> he eats that up. <laughs> We're back again with Craig Muckler's Hollywood Showcase. Uh, we, we always have the best guests all the time, and obviously I really like this guest. Coming born and raised in Minnesota, it's, it's the unbelievable, great Jesse Ventura. Yay, welcome. Nice I, love you. You. I love you. Well, in this state, I carry the title governor. Well, I, yes, I remember that. Yeah. I was in Los Angeles at the time. Which, uh, but a lot of people didn't know, and, and they didn't realize, actually, I had been a mayor in the sixth largest city before yeah. I was governor. Absolutely. So I had four years of experience. So people seem to think that I was this novice that came in from pro wrestling and didn't know nothing about government. Right. Well, that wasn't true at all because I, I was uh, mayor of the sixth largest city right. in Minnesota. Right. Yeah. And uh, for four years, and then I went back to the private sector. Imagine that. I know. Yeah. You do one term and go back to the private sector. What a novelty. Yeah. That's but that's right. how I do it. And then I did one term as governor and went right. back to the private sector. Yeah. Now, now tell me, you've had uh, sorry, a, a wrestler, mm -hmm. which you, you, you succeeded big time there, obviously. Mm -hmm. Then, <laughs> like we're both involved in movies, right. obviously, with a, a mutual friend, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Sure, yeah. And yeah. I, I was in... Uh, Oh, the um, Jane Mansfield story with him. Oh, where Lonnie Anderson. Anderson. That's way that a long way time ago. Yeah, you know. no. and Lonnie Anderson from Minnesota. Sure. Well, you know, it was a transition. So much of Hollywood and how Hollywood, as I see it, works, they tend to take interest in things that become hot. Yeah. And wrestling became hot. Yes. Yeah. In the in the you know in the mid '80s when it was Hulkamania running wild right. and all this. I mean, we had captured the nation yeah. at that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had it was captured it. Yeah, exactly. And so as a result of that, doors are going to open yeah. up for you. Yeah. Roddy and, Piper, I mean, the opposite sure. book. And so that's what I, in fact, I'll give you the little story. George Scott was the booker of wrestling then. And I came up to George, and I lived here in Minneapolis. I came up to George and said, hey, George, book me in California every time it runs. Oh. And he did, He was naive. He said, oh, you like the weather out there? Because he thought from Minnesota. I said, yeah, I like the yeah, weather. That's, got that right. that's what I told him. But the real reason was I wanted to be out there yeah. with my agent so that I could fulfill and take meetings and chase another career. Oh, yeah. And wrestling allowed me to be out there because I, I might wrestle Sacramento and then jump on a plane to L.A. the next morning yeah. and have two business meetings and then be to Oakland that night to wrestle again. Wow. You know, but that's the way I had to do it in which to make the transition from the world of pro wrestling and the WWE into movies, television, or whatever. First thing I ever did was Hunter the TV show. Which that, was that. Oh, okay. wow. that was it. Okay. That was before wow. the Predator. Yeah. yeah, Predator was my second job. That was. Yeah, I, and that's when I got my Screen Actors Guild card. Because it was my, they get, you know, they got that the first one you right. don't need, it. All, yeah. and uh, and so and it's good when they cast you because they'll go get you the card. Then. Uh, <laughs> yeah. and so, uh, so, right. so they so, went and got me my card, and I've been a member of the guild ever since. And uh, you know, I I actually got my card doing the Jane Mansfield story. Really? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah with sure. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lonnie. Ad I mean, it's incredible. Yeah. And and Arnold, I think, helped me me get it because I met him. Uh, yeah. You know, it was, it was wild. But the transition for you wasn't hard at all, I wouldn't think, from also wrestling to acting. I well, mean, it was so natural. It, it, well, and especially when my first role was Predator, because uh, there I had different experience. Wrestling had nothing to do with that. Oh, right. But I had the experience of having never fought an alien. But uh, <laughs> I had the experience of, of being very well trained in a Vietnam veteran oh, yeah, in the jungle. Yeah. Exactly. And so I, I know the jungle well. Uh, for me, it, it was really going back to what I did 15 to 20 years earlier. That's yeah. all it was to me. That way, and it wasn't yeah. acting. No. All I did was go, it was real for me. In fact, I will tell you this. Yeah. I was down in, at the Camino, or Camino Real Hotel where we did Predator. Right. I had multiple nights where I woke up in the night with memories. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because that's what it did. The, the move, doing Predator yeah. brought... Because when we started firing the automatic weapons in the jungle, I was back. Oh. I was back. I mean, that's... Yeah, that's, that's scary you know, story. You know, I, I, I mean, you're so realistic. Well, because, it, so. That, that because of it. it. Unfortunately, you know, when I got down there, and I always remember I had to quit the WWF because Vince wasn't going to let me do the film. Really? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, wow. Behind the scenes. And oh, I, I had to quit. I, I said, I, I, said, I quit. Because I said, 
when will I get a chance to co-star with Arnold Schwarzenegger again? I can always come back to wrestling. Yeah, I've been doing that for that, right? 12 years. <laughs> a that, business decision. Yeah, right and there, so, right? <laughs> so I quit. Yeah. And and I remember Vince sent a guy down there because he had NBC Saturday Night Main Event and I wasn't there. Oh, oh, oh. and panic set in because NBC thought Jesse's on the mic and I wasn't there. Oh. And so, they those ratings. Yeah. yeah, and so what happened then was Vince had to been to my every, and I was the first wrestler who made Vince McMahon deal with an agent. Really? Wow. First one. He wow. never dealt with an agent. He didn't directly got one of his underlings no. to do it. Of course, yeah. But I was the first to do it, and, and that was the reason why I had already signed The Running Man, because yeah. Arnold came up to me on set and said, my next film, The Running Man, Jesse, there's a part you're perfect for. Uh, Would you like to do it? And I said, of course, Arnold, I'll do it. Yeah. And so we had already inked that before I went back to McMahon. <laughs> Well, that's See, that's strategy, called yeah. that's called fu money. <laughs> no, there's certain money in the world that that, that that's categorized as fu money. <laughs> you know, you know, Jesse, and you know the way I look at it, because you know I'm I, I've done I've written myself and movies myself. I, sure. I was a stutterer with a talk show for yeah. God's sake. But what I always loved about you, my you God, you know, you did everything, but it, there's a I mean, you network off each other every all your careers, and you were successful at all of them. Well, depends how you measure success, I guess. <laughs> oh, I yeah. uh, there's certainly some that I didn't feel as successful no. that I was involved in that that I that I could have been. But uh, I don't know. For me, I'll, on mine, I've read three books on Che Guevara, oh, <laughs> and I've yeah. one of them was written by a South American. Oh, where he was from, so great. you got a new perspective here. It had yeah. no U.S. Of, of who Che was, and I find and reading about him, I came to the conclusion that Che Guevara and I are very much alike. Really? Oh, wow! Because Che had wanderlust, okay. and so did I. Really? Yeah. Because Che could have stayed in Havana forever. He was God down there. Especially at that they got time. his. They got his thing on a big building there. Yeah. Still. Yeah. But to him, that was the first revolution. Uh, right. There were more to be done. Right. And yeah. that's when he ended up going to Bolivia and ended up getting killed yeah. down there by our CIA. And exactly. All that. And, uh, but, uh, but just in reading about Che, we had the same mindset of, to see, I do something for about three or four years and then I start getting bored with it. Well, and then you and then I start, strategy. Yeah. And then I start looking for something, but I will say this, it's never been planned. No, I no. operate like this Yogi Berra, with the great Yogi Berra. Yeah. Right. When you come to a Y in the road, you take it. Take it. <laughs> and, of course. and that, and, and, and you laugh at Yogi for saying that, but really, that's all I did. I'd come to a Y in the road, I'd take it, and once I took it, I didn't look back. No, right. I was yeah. going to be successful yeah. at whatever the Y led me. Well, and it sounds like you, you'd this always way. always set up a plan for yourself too. You didn't just not really, no, no, not no, really. No. No, I, just, I, 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 I flew by the yeah, I flew by the seat of my pants. Yeah, wow. I had no. When I graduated from high school, I I didn't know what I was going to do. Yeah. I joined the Navy for something to do. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. It seemed like the right thing at the time. Yeah. And then I thought, years, we'll, and then we'll, I thought, well, the the when Navy. I'm done, then the Navy will pay for my college, yeah. GI Bill. Yeah, sure. I, uh, and I'll that tell was you another four, little secret. Four years, right? Another yeah, another little secret. I actually did. I took. I was. I, I took theater in college, and I actually did Aristophanes the Birds. Oh, really? A Greek yeah, comedy oh, God, in college. <laughs> yeah. So people who thought I was a novice to acting didn't realize that when I went to college, I got intrigued by theater, oh, and that's man. why I chose wrestling because I thought of being a pro football player, but I thought, wait a minute. Wrestling combines athleticism and theater. It does. Absolutely. You know what is more perfect? I can fulfill my theater hunger, and I'm still an athlete. Yeah, you everything you, are, you know, want right there. <laughs> and yeah. so, and 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 you know, and that's really how it developed.